fun map. Today we're going to be talking about divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9. Here are the rules for 3, 6, and 9. And here are the examples to understand the divisibility rules. Okay, let's go to the rules. Is a num is number divisible by 3? If sum of its digit is divisible by 3. Okay, now let's move on to the next rule. Is number is number divisible by six? If number is even and divisible by three. Okay, let's move on to the next rule. If is number divisible by nine? If sum of its digit is divisible by nine. Okay, now for the examples, we might need to go back and check the rules to understand the, these examples. Okay, let's solve it. 28,437. Let's go back here. Is, num is 28,437 divisible by 3? Let's check if sum of its digit is divisible by 3. So let's rewrite the number here. 2, 8. We're going to add all these numbers. We're going to add all these numbers together. So we're going to write 2 plus 8 plus 4 plus 3 plus 7. Let's check what it will give us. 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 plus 10 is 24. Okay. He, now you have to divide 24 by 3 because if some of this digit is divisible by 3, that's what we have to check. So let's divide. 24 divided by, divided by, So, 24 divided by 3. How many 3's can fit in 2? 0. Now we will combine 2 and 4 together, which will give us 24. How many 3's can fit in 24? If you remember the multiplication table, you could tell. It's 9. It's 8. If you multiply 8 by 3, you will get 24. Subtract 24 by 24, you get 0. We call the remainder as 0. That means it to 28,437 is divisible by 3. So we're going to write yes right here in the box. Okay, let's move on to if number. Let's move on to example 2. 43,259 is 43,259 divisible by 6? Let's check if number is even and divisible by 3. Okay, let's rewrite the number right here. 43,259. So now it's asking, we have to go to the, we have to check if it's an even number. So let's go to the last digit and check if it's an even or odd. If you see here, 9 is an odd number, so, but it's as telling us that it has to be an even number to be divisible by 6, but it's an odd number, so you can't move on because you already know it's not even. Then you can't divis divide it by 3. So 43,259 is not divisible by 6. We're going to write no in this box. Okay, now let's move on to the third example. Is 26,532 divisible by 6? Let's check if number is even and divisible by 3. Okay. Let's rewrite it. 22,532. 20, 20, Okay, here we're going to use, see here, if a number is even and divisible by 3. So here, if you check at the last number, the 
the digit, the last digit, the number is even. So that means we can move on to the next, to the next one. If number is even, we found out that it's even now and divisible by three. Now we have to check if it's divisible by three. So now we have to go back and use some of, some of the th the rule up here. So let's see. If sum of its digit is divisible by three, that means we have to add, like here, we have to add all those numbers together and divide it by three. Let's try. Two plus six is eight. Eight plus five is 13. 13 plus three is 16. 16 plus two is 18. Okay, now, since we found 18, now we have to divide 18 by six. 18 by 3. 18 divided by 3. How many of these can fit in one? Zero. Now we're going to combine 1 and 8 together. Gives us 18. How many 3 can fit in 18? If you remember the multiplication table, you could tell. It's 6. Now we'll multiply 3 and 6, which will give us 18. Subtract 18 by 18, you get 0 as your remainder. That means... It, 26,532 is divisible by 6. So we're going to write yes in this box. Okay, now let's move on to the fourth example. It is 40, 48,546 divisible by 9. Let's check if some of its digits is divisible by 9. So that means we have to... Up here is the same exact one. So that means you also have to add all of these up and then divide it by 9 to check. So we're going to write 4 plus 8 plus 5 plus 4 and plus 6. So what will we get if we add it? If you add 4 and 8, you will get 12. If you add 12 by 5, you will get 17. If you add 17 by 4, you'll get 21. If you add 21 by 6, you will get 27. Now let's check if 27 can be divided into 9 equal parts. 27 divided by 9. How many 9s can fit in 2? 0. How many 9s? Now you're going to do how many 9s can fit in 27 because 9 cannot how many nines cannot fit in two? Two is way too small. So we have to now add two and seven, which will give you 27. Now, how many nines can fit in 27? If you remember the multiplication table, it's three. If you multiply nine by three, you will get 27. If you subtract 27 by 27, you get zero. Your remainder is zero. That means 48,546 is divisible by nine. Okay, we're going to write yes in this answer box. All right, now let's review what we learned today. We learned about divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9. Here we had the rules for 3, 6, and 9, and we understood how to solve these examples using the rules for 3, 6, and 9. And I hope you understood. Thanks for watching. Bye!